Hi, this is Cheryl again. Simply Shoe Boxes bringing you the end of Scrap Busting January 2019. We had the best week so far this month, um, this week. We made 62 things this week. Finally, <laughs> this is what I thought was going to happen every week, but life happened. So we did get some stuff done that I'll go ahead and show you, and then I'll show you the full month. First, we've got three tote bags done. Um, doesn't sound like many, but it takes larger fabric to do that. This black one here, if you notice, that's an embroidered um, piece of trim that Sarah had bought a large piece of um, on clearance a long time ago. And she's been wanting me to make things for shoe boxes. So we've got several more of these cut out and pencil cases that match. And I'd like to show you the inside of it. It's really fun. It has it's lined with a pop of red, white, and blue. So it's a real fun one, I think. And uh, we wanted to show you what kind of things can fit in these book, what we call book bags, tote bags. Um, a large coloring book, full-size notebook, um, large pack of colored pencils. This is a like a uh, I can't think what they're called. Anyways. Um, kit that all fits in and their school supply uh, pencil case can still fit in too so they'll be able to carry a lot but it won't take up much room in the box. Then we've got a bunch of things for the boys made. We separate between boy and girls because we have several people who pack with us, several family members and some like the traditional boy girl colors, boy girl um, you know flowers for girls, boats for boys, the kind of thing. So we separate them that way, but we will use crossover um, sometimes. But we have these cute little bags that were made from little pieces that just were these little squares. We made the backs contrasting, and they are lined. Most of them are lined with um, gingham. <clears throat> but so these are the ones that would be good for boys. And then we have only two that are specifically more girly. But a lot of the boy ones are going to end up in the girls. And then we have small drawstring bags we made. And these, here are the boys, and here are the girls. Many more for the girls. You can tell I have more girl fabric than boy fabric. Um, they will hold things like jacks, Lego type bricks, Hot Wheels, that kind of small toys that we can take the packaging off of put the small pieces in the bags and that way we can recycle the packaging here and they won't have to deal with it. This was a little bit larger, smaller bag. Um, the insides are very sturdy fabric and these Sarah has set aside to use for little toolkits. They have these uh, screwdrivers with different you can tell I get very nervous making these, and that's why my mind just goes blank and I stutter. But anyway, it's these screwdrivers. We have a little tape measure. Uh, if I can find the tape measure thing. Little tape measure. And a little container of screws. And those all fit in these little bags here. Then we have pencil cases. Um, we got several more for the boys, actually, this time, so that's good fabrics that we felt boys could use. This kind of is flowery, but it's kind of fallish, so it seems boyish. We'll see who will like to use those. And here are the pencil cases that match those tote bags over there. And then we have several girls. Different ones. And I don't know if you can see this ribbon making that we used for the drawstring, but it's gold letters and hearts that say love. thought that was really pretty. The kind of things that will go in the pencil cases, um, obviously pencils, pens, eraser, sharpener. Then we also have other things that fit in. We fit in calculator. We don't send calculators and all, but when we get a good deal, we get calculators. We try to get a compass and a protractor or at least a six-inch eraser um, with metric, hopefully, um, to go in each pencil pouch. They can also, if you want, use them for hygiene kits. Um, the instructions for making the pencil cases, very similar to this. I've changed my pattern just a little bit. For these and 
for the book bags, which um, when I did the original, I was using uh, fat quarters. It takes two fat quarters. They're all lined. Um, two fat quarters will make the handles, the outside, and the inside. That's all on the blog, simplyshoeboxes.com, under craft tab. Sarah will probably put the link down below here on YouTube for you. So this is this week's. Total 62 items, our best week yet, almost half of what we made. The rest of the month, I have spread out over here for you. Small bags, tote bags, and pencil cases, all kind of crammed back there. Um, we have 14 dolls that we had got on clearance. We have a lot more of these that are being dressed, but these all have new skirts. You can't see them. But anyways, we made 14 new skirts for all these dolls. We did not make the dolls, as I said. And this little gal got a new dress, and her hat got finished, but that's crocheting. But, um, and we also have four little loveys that are flannel, and they have satin binding on them. This one is a nine-patch quilt, actually. The rest are just one piece of flannel. So, for the whole month of January we ended up with 132 items. If you can see this, I'll try to write it out for you. 51 small drawstring bags, 44 pencil cases, 18 book bags, 14 doll skirts, one doll dress, and four loveys for a total of 132. I still have a lot of scraps left. <laughs> um, I have a lot more to sew. I have a lot more to make so our boxes each have one of each of these things in them. Um, and a lot more dolls to dress, but Shell's KB's um, and her mom are helping us dress the dolls, and um, they're finding some fun ways. You might want to visit their Facebook page, Shell's KB's, on Facebook. And so delightful, Suzanne has been doing, she even went to Hawaii on a vacation and took her January crafting with her um, for shoeboxes and other ministries that she crafts for. So we'd love to hear if you did some crafting, if there's more videos you'd like to see about crafting here at Simply Shoe Boxes, let us know in the comments below. Um, and we'd love for you to subscribe to Simply Shoe Boxes here on YouTube. Visit us on Facebook, Simply Shoe Boxes. SimplyShoeBoxes.com is the blog. And we bring you everything that has to do with packing shoe boxes. So thanks for joining us. And I don't know when I'll see you again, but Sarah will be back soon here on YouTube with lots of shoebox hints and tips and illustrations. So thanks for joining us.